welcome back to the vlog. It is probably really noisy right here. I'm right next to the highway, getting in a two hour ride this morning. Started out nice and early. The time change was today, so it felt extra early. But uh, finally the rain has gone at least for a few days and the uh, trail is drying up. So got one hour left. really fast. Now I'm taking this one to a birthday party and after the birthday party off to sell more Girl Scout cookies. And while she's at the birthday party I think I'm gonna go check out the Apple store. Wait. <laughs> Wait actually? Not buying you anything. I'm not buying you anything. Oh, I might buy me something but not you. Are you excited? What are you doing? Uh, I made my magic mixie. You made a so, magic mixie, huh? Yeah, I don't even know what to do now. It's so cool, the lid. So you think the water activated it. What did you name your mixie? My mixie is named Pinkie Pie. <laughs> What's up, girl? Did you miss us? Did you miss us? Well, Sunday is done. It has been a full day, birthday parties, Girl Scout cookie selling. I uh, went by the Apple store because uh, somebody who will rename nameless spilled a bunch of water on their laptop, which means I gave my laptop to them and uh, I no longer have a laptop. So uh, working off my desktop Mac, but I really miss my laptop and uh, so stopped by the Apple store, checked out some of the new M2 Pro processors, the 14 inch laptop. I think that might have to be the one because I'm getting back into doing videos. I need my laptop back. A uh, couple goals this week, get my garage back under control, cleaned up after the cookies. We are pretty much done with cookies and uh, I wanna get it all cleaned back up because I enjoy training so much more when it's nice in there. And number two, consistency. I have been consistently swimming five days a week. I wanna get cycling back in there. I've only been cycling a couple days a week. I wanna get that back up to three or four days a week and a little more consistency with my diet. I've been slacking on that, uh, being as busy as we are, being out a lot, been eating out a lot more than I would like. So. That's the goal. So you guys are coming with me this week. It's Sunday now, but you're coming with me at least part of this week until I start editing this video. Help hold me accountable.
I am back from swim. Good morning, Emeline. My hair's a mess. Your hair's a mess? All right, I won't film you. Don't show my hair. <laughs> no camera, hair's a mess. Grabbing some coffee. I am back from swim, 3,900 yards. Now, Maple and I have an early morning vet appointment, her third round of shots. Good morning. Good morning, Daddy. We slept in, huh? This time change thing is rough, huh? Hey, yeah. no jumping. No biting, no jumping. Hey, hey, sit back. There he goes. <clears throat> All right, well, Maple and I are headed to the vet. She uh, She's getting better and better at riding in the car. She's got a little uh, seat belt that attaches to the seat and uh, she doesn't like to get in the car, but once she's in, uh, she does okay. She says to uh, sit, uh, she's past doing the whining that she used to do. All right, well, back from the vet, Mabel did great and I got a message from my doctor when I got back. Uh, big news, I'm a little bit nervous all of a sudden. Next Tuesday, possibly having surgery. That's only eight days away, today is Monday. I, I'm not sure I'm mentally prepared yet for next Tuesday. I was thinking end of March, early April, but hey, sooner the better. I was all gun ho last week to do it, but now that reality has set in, I'm a little bit nervous, uh, honestly. Um, but I've got a list of stuff I need to get done before then. I've got to get my doctor to provide a, a history and physical, shouldn't be an issue. Uh, a CBC, a metabolic panel, a coagulation uh, test, a urolysis, so urinalysis. Uh, a bunch of stuff that I believe I can just go to Quest Diagnostics down the street, have all of that done. Uh, my doctor should be able to order that stuff up. Shouldn't be an issue. I also have to get a COVID PCR test within five days. Shouldn't be an issue. And then the last thing, which I don't think I've ever done before, uh, maybe when I was in a motorcycle accident and I shattered all these knuckles, I had to have surgery, was uh, actually taken to the emergency room in a, an ambulance. They probably did an EKG at that point, but I don't know that I've ever had an EKG beyond that. So uh, I need to, because I'm over 35, have an EKG uh, before the surgery. So now I need to get all of this done this week. Well, I just had my EKG and I am waiting for the doctor to come in and get my test results. Well, I just knocked out a two for one, was able to get an EKG past the test, as well as a physical. Uh, also, my doctor is going to fax over my medical history. Uh, so all of that is good. And I got my orders for my blood tests. So now I just need to go get that taken care of. So what I thought was gonna take the next three days to try and coordinate and get done, uh, almost done. It is Fruit Ninja yeah, tournament yeah. time. Yep. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, did you get that? Wow. No, I didn't get no. it. Best of three. We're going to add up our three scores to yeah. see who wins this trophy. I need... This is so hard. I've got to get 146 or I lose. She doesn't want to play any games because she doesn't want to lose. Because <laughs> she didn't do so good. 60. I'm not so Ooh. <laughs> No. Oh! <laughs> 125. Oh. You beat me. <laughs> Zero. You're so mean. Zero. Stop biting me. What's it say on the. It's 
Wait, 1770, 17.75. Okay, moving on for. <laughs> you did great. You did great. <laughs> you. And you. Mm -hmm. And you. Kept us up all night long. Mm -hmm. You and you and you. That was rough, huh? Par party all night? Party all night? Yeah. No, Emily no. showed up later after you went to bed. I did not swim this morning. Hopefully there will be a bike ride. Well, I feel like a new man. It is amazing what a hot shower can do for you. Uh, woke up feeling just kind of light headache and, and run down, but a uh, little caffeine, a little shower. Now, time to get some work done. I feel like today is a good day to bring up a subject, uh, emotional eating. I tend to be an emotional eater. I think uh, I've always kind of suffered from that when things get tough, when things get super busy, when uh, uh, I'm under stress, um, when uh, I'm fighting with someone, things like that. I tend to uh, go to food to comfort myself. And today is one of those days where, hey, busy, missed my workout. Uh, we've got, I've got work today, got sports this evening, got a mandatory team meeting for soccer. And uh, if your kids play club soccer, I'm sure you know, but if you're thinking about it, it's stressful. There's so much going on with the teams and, and kids hopping teams and being recruited and playing and uh, soccer, man, there is, uh, in my opinion, a lot of drama and a lot of stress with that. Those times and injury, injury is another one where I have been injured and it's kind of one of those times where it's just like, what does it matter? I have no races. Uh, I'm just going to eat bad because it seems to suppress and make uh, some of those emotions feel a little less. I just thought I'd mention it because it's something I struggle with and I think I've really never admitted it on video. Share your thoughts. Do you feel like you struggle with the same thing? Do you think you've overcome it? Um, you know, whatever those thoughts may be, negative, positive. I just thought I'd share it to be really transparent and uh, basically truthful because it's something I struggle with. And I think in a lot of times in my videos, everything seems like it's perfect and the kids are great and life is good and uh, all of those things and my fitness is going great and I'm achieving my goals. Well, the reality is there is a lot of struggle uh, that I think doesn't get captured in these videos. Uh, so, uh, I don't know, share your thoughts. It is lunchtime now and I'm about to head to get my blood work done. But before I do that, I figured I'd show you guys the new fence. It's done. We had to add a small block wall underneath it in order to get the entire fence level and the pool has yet to be redone. That is something that is a huge expense and we've slowly been going through. We did the house, added the big retaining wall recently and uh, now the fence and this pool will happen in the future. Uh, but it may stay this way for a couple more years and when we do that we'll kind of decide what we're going to do with this little extra wall we built to level the fence. But right now, I've got to head to get my blood work done. One of my goals in coming back and making videos is to capture more of the daily uh, experiences, things that are happening. I think I get so caught up in to trying to make the video uh, as perfect as I can, the audio sound as good as possible, that I actually end up doing a disservice and not capturing as much as I should. So we're going to try out, I am going to try to use my iPhone more because that, one of the things is I don't bring my nice camera. So I'm going to use my iPhone more to capture things. Hopefully the quality is good enough and uh, you guys enjoy seeing more of the things that are happening. So do me a favor, hit the pause button on this video right now and let me know what your thoughts are on me doing more filming uh, throughout the day. The quality might not be the same as my normal camera, but getting more of the behind the scenes or more of the real life experiences that are occurring while trying to balance training, work, family, and I can tell you the upcoming videos 
as of next Tuesday when I have surgery, I'm not gonna be doing a ton of training. So there's gonna be a lot of things going through my head that I can share. There's gonna be a lot of recovery, that type of stuff. So the videos might not be as action packed. So pause it, leave a comment, let me know what you think. Well, that was quick and painless. All done, should have those results within two days, which will be Thursday, and I can uh, fax them over to the doctor. I am done, that was one hour on Zwift, so uh, it's only Tuesday, first bike is in. One of the things I wanted to do was get back to cycling at least three days a week. So Tuesday is done, I missed my swim, but uh, that is okay right now because uh, as of today, surgery is just about a week away. Uh, there's not much I'm going to do to really increase my fitness. I'm just gonna maintain for the time being. But now it is time for me to take a quick shower because at six o'clock, we have a mandatory soccer meeting for the parents. Hopefully tonight we get the team situated and we have a little clearer picture of what the next uh, season is going to look like. All right, well, I'm gonna end this video here. I realized I have done a ton of filming and I don't want this video to be a half hour long, so I'm gonna leave it here and maybe I'll start another video. But first, I just wanna say thank you to all of you who left comments and thumbs up on the last video. It was really cool to come back. Honestly, I was a little concerned, you know, I would be putting a video out and uh, filming, getting on camera again, and what are people gonna think? What are people gonna say? So. Thank you so much for all of the support and all of the comments. I greatly appreciate it. And uh, I'm excited to take you guys on this journey to recovering.